it is August 19th, 2011, and this is a Infowars.com breaking news report on this Friday evening. I was contacted a little over a month ago by Robert Morrow, a Princeton graduate, three-time delegate for the Republican Party in the state of Texas, uh, a month ago or so. And he said, listen, um, I've got a lot of contacts, a lot of witnesses, people that uh, have been involved in different type of uh, sexual escapades with Rick Perry. And I didn't call him back, but I started doing my research. I'd heard the name, I'd met him before. And it turns out that most of the libertarian and conservative activists that I know uh, vouch for Robert, that he's a stand-up guy and they've known him for many, many years. Uh, still, uh, I don't get into sexual issues. I'm going after Rick Perry for being Al Gore's former chief of staff in Texas in his presidential campaign in 88. We're supporting uh, all sorts of uh, amnesty moves for illegal aliens or forced inoculations for little girls or Napa superhighways. And I said, look, I'm, I'm not going to break this information. Well, then, lo and behold, he put a full-page ad in the Austin Chronicle that has now gotten national attention. Thousands of newspapers are reporting on this. Have you ever had sex with Rick Perry? And he has his phone number, his email uh, on the article, and he says he's gotten even more contacts since this first ran yesterday. Now, the Perry campaign has responded uh, and they are striking back, uh, trying to attack Ron Paul, who Rick Perry is trying to become, uh, with his calls uh, to basically uh, uh, go after the Fed for treason. They're trying to say that this is some type of Ron Paul dirty trick. Well, Ron Paul came out today uh, on Fox News and said, no, uh, this is all just silly. So to sort all of this out, uh, we are joined by Robert Morrow, the man of the hour, uh, to tell us about himself and why he's running this ad and uh, what evidence he has that indeed Rick Perry is gallivanting around being a hypocrite, telling us that he has all these Christian values. I should add that it's also coming out in newspapers across the country that Rick Perry uh, is an investor in a chain of uh, porno movie outlets. Uh, that's all over mainstream news and the religious right is running an attack ad against him for that. And I did confirm in the Texas Ethics Commission filings that Rick Perry reportedly uh, did go in Florida to a male drag queen uh, strip club to see some type of event. And there's reports on that going back two years. So we're going to talk about it all. Uh, where there's smoke, is there fire? I mean, I've heard these rumors for many, many years. Uh, Robert Morrow, uh, tell us about yourself and then uh, why, you're, why you're doing this. Well, Alex, I'm a local political activist here in Texas. I'm a three-time delegate to the Texas State Republican Convention 2006, 2008, and 2010. I have voted for Rick Perry in the past, 1998, 2002, 2006. What it boils down to is this, is that Rick Perry is a man who campaigns on Christian values. He uses Bible buzzwords for political gain. Uh, he appears on stage in Houston with uh, all these preachers, extremist preachers, yet he's living a double life. And the reason I know that, Alex, is because Rick Perry, his enabling entourage, and I like the same women. Well, that's uh, quite a charge. And uh, again, I'm going to be honest with you, Robert, you wouldn't even be here right now um, if a lot of people I know vouched for you and said you're a stand-up guy. They've known you for many, many years, some of them a decade, people I've known for over a decade. Uh, and I'm not saying, oh, you're lucky to be here. I'm saying I wouldn't have you here if a lot of people that I know and trust say, well, you're a stand-up guy. So that means two things are happening. Either all these people that are telling you this information are lying to you or they're telling the truth. And either way, this is dangerous. So let's get into uh, the allegations. Okay. Um, the reason they're credible is because uh, they're multiple allegations. Um, I met a stripper a couple of years ago. Uh, she said, uh, I was working uh, on stage at a club and a, and a man comes up to me and he says, uh, here's $500. Uh, that's just for starters, you know, come with me. Uh, because, because that's about what, you know, a dancer might make in a whole night with, with table dances and tips like that. She said, sure, I'll do it. And so she got into her regular clothes 
uh, and she was delivered to Rick Perry. And uh, when she got to Rick Perry, she told me, this is about a couple of years ago before the 2010 uh, gubernatorial race, she said that uh, she and Rick Perry started fooling around and she was trying to give him uh, a Monica Lewinsky, I, th I think it was oral sex, I think. And her words to me were, I think he was too coked up to get it up, okay? After they had been playing around for a while and it was time for her to go, Rick Perry paid her an outrageous sum of money, well into the four digits. Rick Perry is not a rich man. He's only worth a million or two dollars, one or, one or two million dollars. That's not a lot of money compared to who he runs around with. It makes me think that Rick Perry is taking bribes and illegal, illegal gifts from his entourage to fund his extracurricular activities. And that was just one lady. Well, that's one source. Mm -hmm. uh, before you went public with all of this and contacted me a month ago, uh, you say you were contacted by high-end escorts as well. Uh, I, I, I know other women in town, uh, strippers, young hotties, some escorts, and another lady, this, this is what blew me away, when I heard from another lady uh, who's had direct dealings with Rick Perry's entourage, and she told me that this man told her that when Rick Perry goes on the road, he gets the quote, young hotties. Hence, I use the phrase young hotties in my ad. And he told her, he says that they take these, these young women uh, and they go back to Rick Perry's hotel room and they're literally having orgies and group sex in the hotel room. Perhaps like maybe Rick Perry is, you know, having sex with a woman on a sofa and his friend is having sex with another young hottie on a bed. So that was two. Now the second person who told me this um, is very credible. Um, She's educated. She knows her way around the world politically here in Austin. Uh, she's not some sort of, you know, 17-year-old runaway on drugs or something. She's somebody who runs with the elite of Austin, Texas. So that was the second source on that. So after I heard that, I said, it's confirmed. You know, Rick Perry is obviously being flagrantly adulterous. His entourage is, you know, procuring strippers for him, uh, renting the hotel rooms, calling the escort services. Then recently, this week, yet another young lady who's friends with yet another popular Austin longtime escort said that, yeah, you know, this lady, you know, her friend had a tryst with Rick Perry in one of the nicer hotels in Austin, Texas. So that's three right there. And I've been unable to get these people to go public for obvious reasons, you know, trying to get a stripper or an escort or a gay closeted gay man to go public is, is very difficult for obvious reasons, hence my ad. So I took out this ad, have you ever had sex with Rick Perry, as a plea to the greater community to quit covering for Rick Perry, this, you know, Christian buzzword spouting hypocrite who's leading a double life. Well, I've got to say, Robert, that We've seen what's happened with the New York governor who passed a law to take the property away from men that hired prostitutes and throw them under the jail while he was visiting high-end prostitutes. We've seen yep. all these Republican leaders caught in bathrooms and going after their pages. We know about Bohemian Grove. And so uh, doing my research, I know to get into the upper echelons of the Republican Party especially, uh, they don't feel comfortable around you unless you've done some things that they can use against you. And the main way to enter the upper echelons of the Republican Party is homosexual sex. That's what goes on at Skull and Bones at Yale. That's what goes on uh, at the same time at Bohemian Grove. So I know that stuff goes on. You know, I, again, I mainly stick with issues that I can prove. And we've all heard these rumors living in Austin. I yep. mean, there's been newscasts about the rumors of Rick Perry. And uh, I, would, I would completely still ignore all of this if he wasn't out there saying, I'm a Christian conservative leader, uh, you need to get behind me, and then knowing that he's actually the opposite in his real policies. And even in the last election cycle for governor, conservative groups did actually discover his bankrolling of porno parlors across Texas, uh, and that's now a big issue again. And then when I first saw this, I didn't believe it, and I went and found it on the State Ethics Commission website. It is true that when he was in Florida, in a famously uh, alternative lifestyle area, and I want you to talk about that. He visited the La Te Da uh, Men in Drag uh, Cabaret. Uh, and 
he later said, well, no, that my, my wife visited that. Yeah, right. So it just continues to crop up. And, and so because it was Christian conservatives that have gone after him in the last few campaigns over some of these reports, he's now trying to become that. And I saw Ron Paul supporters really uh, getting after him at events in the last few years. So now he's trying to become Ron Paul. He is a political uh, chameleon. And so the question comes down to, is this some elaborate hoax where people are lying to you? Are you lying? Which people that know you say you're not. Or is this a dirty trick of disinformation? Or is it or is it true? But what do you say about the porno parlor uh, bankrolling and the uh, transvestite uh, visiting? Okay. Well, Alex, as you know, you and I living here in Austin, Texas, uh, the rumors of Rick Perry's homosexuality and gay affairs have been voluminous, intense, and it will just not go away. Uh, oh, when you type Rick Perry into Google for years, <sighs> gay comes up. Yeah, and, and it, there's... The first thing. Yeah, there is so much smoke that it makes you think it has to be fire. And I, I want to tell you something, Alex. I never believed the gay rumors on Rick Perry for years and years and years, and then I certainly didn't believe them when I found out about all these strippers and escorts that he and his entourage are cavorting with. That has changed. I've come into credible information that Rick Perry is a rampant bisexual adulterer, not just strippers and young hotties, but gay men as well. Because on this Monday, before I even ran this ad, a, an incensed homosexual man contacted me and he says, you know what, after seeing Rick Perry on that stage in Houston with all those extremist preachers, all that you know, hardcore anti-gay rhetoric, I just can't take it anymore. He said that an ex of his ex had sex with Rick Perry, a gay fling, many years before he became governor, and that, he, and that he wants to take this guy public, and that he and his friend are going to approach this man who had sex with Rick Perry, according to them, and, and, and get him to go public. And I said, uh, well, what I did was I gave him to a reporter who was working the, the gay angle on Rick Perry, and he's having some progress, by the way. And uh, so maybe eventually, uh, in a few months, after these reporters work these stories, nail down those sources, we will move beyond the hearsay stage on Rick Perry as a, a, a you know, rampant bisexual adulterer to the credibility stage with people coming forth. So the whole point of me running that ad is, folks, there is so much stuff out there on Rick Perry. You know, if you know any, if you've had been involved with him sexually at all, or you know people who have, please come forward and let's go on the record and get it above board that people need to know. Well, these rumors have been rampant. I mean, rampant. I've lived here in Austin rampant. since high school, but they could just be that political uh, retribution against Perry by his enemies. Then the rumor gets picked up and gets parroted uh, by people that are seeking kind of private attention. Oh, I know Rick Perry. I mean, that could be a possibility here where it's a self-fulfilling prophecy that this rumor got started. And so now di different groups are lying to you. Well, uh, Alex, on the womanizing, I'm not just 99% sure that Rick Perry has been running around with strippers and hookers. I'm 100% sure on that. Well, you told me that, yeah. the, you know, that, 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 that you like you know, these uh, women well, and that you do go to some of these yeah. and that separately, without them knowing that you're politically active, they were volunteering this? Yeah, what, what makes their story so credible is that these ladies who are about the age of Rick Perry's 24-year-old daughter, Sydney, they're in their mid-20s, they told me these things in confidence and not in the context of a presidential campaign or a gubernatorial campaign. It was just chit-chat. They had no idea I was a political activist. They had no idea that I hated Rick Perry's guts for other reasons, you know, political reasons and so forth. Well, have you, have you talked to them since? I've tried to contact them recently, and I've been unable to get them to come public. I'm certainly not going to out them at all. The whole point is, I think a lot of them, they really need to uh, send me an email at familyvalueshypocrite at gmail.com. I'll repeat that one more time. Familyvalueshypocrite at gmail.com. I will get them in contact with, with a reporter. They don't have to go on the record. They can give this reporter background information and let him build his story and build his case. Well, this looks like something Taylor made for Larry Flint. It sure does. Larry Flint, Larry Flint has outed a lot of uh, hypocritical uh, politicians like Rick Perry.
All right, we've only got five minutes or so left here, uh, Robert, and I've, you know, I've told you this, what you're doing is dangerous. Whether this is true or not, it's very dangerous, but I live here in Austin. I've heard about this for a decade Absolutely. since he's been governor, and it, it's, it's been a huge issue uh, here in town. It's, it's, it's a big joke here in town. So whether it's true or not, it needs to be debated now because if it is true, they're going to be able to blackmail Rick Perry. Absolutely. And uh, people ask, why is this so common in high-level politics? Because the system is comfortable with these type of people because they have dirt on them. And Rick Perry's done things like order little girls to take a vaccine that he knew was killing people in trials. He's done things like try to hand 8,000 miles of Texas roads over to center of Spain, even though it was political suicide. Um, he's done things that are very suspicious. And then you get being heavily invested in a porno parlor chain. Uh, then you get the... La Latida. Yeah, the transvestite uh, uh, cabaret. Yep. And, and that's confirmed. Uh, you get all of this going on. Um, it, it's just sickening that, that if it's true, or if any part of it's true, that he's strutting around up there with all the you know, Christian values. But I, I, I think... These guys, if it is true, gravitate towards that because they see it as a political cover. But how many big preachers, as it turned out, are doing this type of thing? Well, you had Ted Haggart. You know, Rick, Rick Perry reminds me a lot of Ted Haggart, uh, the, the preacher in Colorado that was secretly gay and, and using crystal meth. And remember, I want to emphasize this again. This stripper told me that when she was with Rick Perry, her direct words were, I think he was too coked up. I think meaning too coked up to perform sexually to get it up. And I figured, wow, you know, he's incapacitated too. So Rick Perry, as far as I know, is arrogant uh, and entitled and reckless. And we don't need arrogant and reckless in the White House, Alex. Well, building up to this on Monday and Tuesday, my crew was bringing me articles. Uh, actually, we posted when it was already all over the web, one of your articles, and I actually called my writer and said, pull that. Uh, so it was on InfoWars for a while. I don't know if you're aware of that. Uh, just because I said, I, I don't know, we can't prove this. I don't want to be associated with this. I want to be associated with people's record. Um, well, that article you're talking about has gone viral, and I'll just name the title of it. If you Google Tea Party Fraud Rick Perry is Political Herpes, you'll learn a lot about Rick Perry. Tea Party Fraud Rick Perry is Political Herpes. Well, well I mean, uh, my point in saying, you know, here that I wasn't going to go with this story because, and I told my whole crew this, I said, I said this on Tuesday night, um, we went out to eat, worked up here late, went out to eat at about 10 o'clock at night, and uh, I actually had one of my writers that posted it, and I was excoriating him, and I said, it's probably, you know, where there's smoke, there's fire, but I said, and this, I don't care if it's all over the internet, um, I said, you watch, and, and my, five of the guys were there, they all saw this, I said, you watch. They're going to grab this and come up with it in the news and attack Ron Paul and say, look, one of his supporters did this. And I said, I, I said, whether it's true or not, that's how this is going to be spun. And that, and it is being spun that way. So what is your concern with that? Or do you have any? Well, Ron Paul, as you know, is a uh, man of sterling character. He's been married to Carol Paul for 54 years. Uh, Ron Paul doesn't hang out with the same kind of girls that me and Rick Perry and Rick Perry's entourage do. So Ron Paul had nothing to do with this at all. And Ron Paul doesn't get into scandals and sex. Right. Ron, Ron Paul gets Ron into... Ron Paul threw Barat off of him or, or Bruno or whatever the guy's real name is. Yeah. Sasha yeah. Baron Cohen. Yeah, when Sasha Baron Cohen tried to make a pass at Ron Paul, Ron Paul walked out of the room. Now, Rick Perry, it may have been a different story. But I will tell you this. Rick Perry, Alex, is sitting on a keg of slut-fueled nitroglycerin that if it ever exploded would make Anthony Weiner look like a mere pimple popping. Well, I'll say this, and I'm on record over a year ago, 14 months ago, I was told by a Fox News reporter, high level, and I was told you're allowed to talk about this, but just don't give their name, that Rick Perry cornered them uh, at a Texas Tea Party and said, I'm really worried about two people, Ron Paul and Alex Jones, and I'm on record saying that. And I just don't understand why Rick Perry uh, is afraid of me uh, at the end of the day. And I also know I was at uh, 
Nueva Leon Mexican food restaurant a few years ago, and Perry came over and and and, and kind of leaned over the table and said, I want you to have a blessed uh, Thanksgiving coming up, Alex. But while he said it, he looked at me with just crazed Captain Morgan eyes. And I, uh, so, so there's no doubt Rick Perry is pretty wound up. Uh, Rick Perry is very wound up. And w the reports that are coming in, and I don't know how many of these people are going to actually go public, and we want them to, is that Rick Perry um, has been a rampant bisexual adulterer for many years. If you'll notice, when they're in public, Anita Perry almost never lets Rick Perry kiss her on the lips. I think I know why. Well, I know that uh, they had to come out and tell the public, no, we're happily married, everything's fine. I don't know if this is some deep psyop or political trick. I don't know if it's real. I just know that it's now a huge national story. We're here in Austin, Texas. You reached out to us first. Yep. Uh, and I've, I've just been honest in my perspective. We're going to watch this as it unfolds. But you were definitely treading in some very dangerous territory. So uh, watch your back, Robert. And again, people that know you told me that you're a very credible guy that they've known for many, many years. You're not just some political operative that just popped up to do this. I hope this doesn't end up getting spun to hurt Ron Paul at the end of the day. Uh, I'm sure you know Rick Perry is now, quote, counterattacked uh, against Ron Paul's supporter. They say you're a conspiracy theorist for not believing the official Kennedy story. Of course, Jackie's uh, uh, historian just released the, 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 the tapes that Jackie said LBJ uh, did have Kennedy right. killed. Who, who, believes the, who, who in America, besides Rick Perry's campaign, believes the official story on the JFK assassination in the year 2011? Not many people. Well, the fact that they're using the conspiracy theorist label on you uh, in the Houston Chronicle and literally hundreds of papers, uh, I don't think it's going to hold water. Well, yeah. Robert, uh, as this unfolds, we'll continue to track it, and people can, of course, contact you uh, at 512-306-1510 or familyvalueshypocrite at gmail.com. Thank you for, for uh, coming in, and I, I never thought I'd be uh, covering a sex scandal, but it's happening in Austin, Texas, and so uh, we are now covering it. Thank you for being here with us. Good to be here, Alex. All right, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it for this special Friday. PrisonPlanet.tv, InfoWars.com, special breaking news report. Don't forget, starting September 1st, just in a week and a half, we'll have the uh, weeknight news, InfoWars Nightly News, 7 p.m. Central, premiering at PrisonPlanet.tv. We've got a whole bunch of different TV networks and stations lined up to pick it up after we're finished developing it. Again, that's it for uh, us here at InfoWars.com. We'll see you back on the radio live this Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. Central, and back Monday, 11 a.m. Central. God bless you all. InfoWars.com for 16 years has led the charge against the technocrats. We have had unrivaled success in unlocking minds, expanding paradigms, and rallying the people to face the new world order. No one can deny that our media operation is the tip of the spear, and it's because of our success that we have a responsibility to intensify our operations against the globalist 110%. We're only a month away from launching a weeknight news broadcast. The social network is nearing completion as well. The free newsletter is reaching hundreds of thousands. Please spread the word about InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.com. Sign up at the top of InfoWars.com for the free InfoWars Insider email with exclusive video and text reports as well as breaking news. Look in the mirror. You are the resistance. It is up to us, the InfoWarriors, to take the initiative and to defeat the globalist.